I've heard been in a place where you know you want to do more and you're driven to do more, but you don't know what to do. A few days ago, I was laying in bed and kind of just scrolling through my phone and thinking, man, I, I'm running out of ideas to, for YouTube, which is a crazy thought to have because there's literally millions of ideas. But at the same time, when you're in it and you're running through it, it can get pretty crazy and you get to these places where it's just drained and you're thinking, what can I do? I want to do something, but I don't know what to do. And I was getting super discouraged, to be honest. And I was just laying in bed, scrolling through my phone and I opened up Instagram and I'm scrolling through my feed and I'm seeing some of my old work, the, the good, the bad, and some work that I never want to see again in my life. And as I'm scrolling through my old content, I see this post I made in February of 2018 and it was in Puerto Rico and it was when I was handing food to people that were still out of power from Irma and Maria. If you know my story at all, you know when I turned 23, I decided to pack my bags and move to Puerto Rico. And, and during that year, my life was changed. I made lifelong friends, learned life lessons that I thought I would never learn, and lived through some pretty crazy things. Some of those things were Irma and Maria, which were two category five hurricanes that absolutely destroyed Puerto Rico. I was in the heart of it in Bayamon and these two hurricanes hit a few weeks apart which caused me and millions of people to be out of powered water for 30, 60, 90 plus days. I was out of running water for around 30 days and I was living without electricity for around 60 plus days. It was crazy but during this time I learned a lot. I learned about myself. I learned about my relationship with Jesus and, and I grew a lot. I also found a new passion and desire for photography. I picked up photography a few years before and it was a very hobbyist thing that I did. I would shoot random events. I think I shot one random wedding for like 50 bucks. And I would post really, really, really bad photos on Instagram with my Nikon 3300. But after these hurricanes and during the time that Puerto Rico started rebuilding, I started to take photos of what was around me. This landed me a job in central Puerto Rico, um, in San Juan, the capital. And, it, and basically for a few months, I would walk around with this team and, and take photos of this team handing out uh, food and beverages. And, and the cities that we would go to the, were some of the poorest areas, not just in Puerto Rico, but in the whole world. And it was really interesting to be a part of that. And for me, it was the closest I was ever to my heritage. And I remember as I'm taking these photos, I was overwhelmed by, by this. So fast forward to a few days ago when I'm laying in my bed, I'm scrolling through Instagram, and I land on this post on February 2018. And I started scrolling through it, and I see all these beautiful faces and people and think, this is why I do this. It's not for the likes, even though that's cool. It's not for the followers or subscribers, even though that can feel fulfilling. It's not for people saying that you're good at what you do. It's not for the clout. It's not for the money. But it's about capturing a moment that you will never forget. I never thought three years ago when I took this photo that 2021 Axel would need that but I did. So I encourage you as we live in a time where it's possible to do anything you want and with the internet, anyone can become an expert at anything. I wanna challenge you, don't just do it for the money or the security or because it looks cool or that's what everyone's doing, but do it because you're passionate about it. So I wanna encourage you and challenge you, do it because you love it. Don't do it because you want to have a massive crowd follow you, or you wanna get a million likes on Instagram. That's, that's cool and I, it's exciting, but you're gonna burn out and it's not gonna give you life. And at 25 years old, that's what I strive for. I wanna be able to feel life out of what I'm doing. And I hope as you're watching this video, whoever watches it, that you're able to do that, man. You're able to do what you love. 
So in three, four years, five years, ten years, when you're discouraged, when you're burnt out, when you're tired, when you're frustrated, you can go back and see why you started that journey. You can go back and fall in love with it all over again. So YouTube, I know this was a very different video. I'm, I'm trying to mix content up a little bit, not just do tutorials, but do life things as well. Uh, so this is my attempt at it. But with all that being said, I love you guys. Thank you for watching and make sure you like the video and subscribe and comment below if you have any ideas for future content. Love you guys and remember, do what you love.